This is a very large week for mixed martial arts. It's a big week because there's a major event set to take place, and with all due respect, I'm not talking about UFC Fight Night live from Sao Paulo. I'm talking about the UFC 229 press conference, which is set to commence this Thursday, live from New York City at 5 p.m. Eastern. Having a press conference for the biggest fight in UFC history means a couple of things, but mainly, as you'd expect, this presser is going to get considerable attention because... It'll be the first appearance by Conor McGregor under the promotion's banner since November of 2016. It's been almost two full years since the Notorious One appeared to promote a UFC event. Just the fact that he's going to be there is an event in itself. But the fact it'll be the first time he'll come face to face with his next opponent for the very first time since the fight was announced just makes this whole thing completely off the hook. The anticipation and the excitement around this presser come Thursday is going to give us just a little taste of what's to come when that first week in October finally rolls around. And however things shake out, I have no doubt it's going to leave us talking about it for weeks to come. But, in a very interesting and a very rare move by the promotion, it was announced that this press conference will be a media-only event. Meaning, there's going to be no fans in attendance. It was never explicitly stated why this is the case, Many speculate it's a security measure put in place given what happened last time Khabib and McGregor were in close quarters. Others are suggesting it was a clause in the contract of the champion to not have fans in attendance, among a bunch of other crazy speculation and guesses amongst the fans and media. I don't know why they're doing this, but I absolutely love the fact that they are. The UFC has always been big on the fan inclusion thing, and they've always done a great job of giving fans an up-close and personal experience whenever the opportunity presented itself. And... Without question, it's paid off for them over the years, all the while doing a real service to the people that love and follow this sport. But this is 100% the call to make. The fact that there's going to be no fans in attendance makes this thing way less conducive to being an all-out shit show. And that's a good thing. I'm a fan of the complete and utter madness of McGregor press conferences of the past. I always eat it up with a spoon. He's an absolute genius on the mic, and the bigger the moment, the better he performs. He's produced some of the best entertainment any fighter of the game has ever offered up us fans, and I love him for it. But you cannot keep that up forever. Or at least, you can't show up every single time and just expect to put on a one-man show. Granted, it's what he's done constantly for years now, but there comes to a point where if it's the same deal every time, it's simply not going to have the same effect anymore. And then we enter this uncomfortable territory where the whole thing just becomes a lot less fun. This is why I absolutely love the idea of a media-only event for the most anticipated presser in UFC history. Having this thing held in an environment that is essentially the polar opposite of the norm adds a whole different element of intrigue. I'm not saying it doesn't have the potential to go completely off the rails, of course it does, but doing this in a formal manner is going to make things feel a lot more serious. Because what goes down on October 6th is a big deal, and sometimes the bells and the whistles ring and blow so loud it almost cheapens the experience and takes away from what actually takes place in the cage. Having a press conference with the intent of doing so in a professional manner is going to make things way more interesting than if it was a typical fan event. It's going to be really amazing to see what it brings out of both Khabib and McGregor. I can't wait. In fact, after the presser this Thursday, I'm going to be doing a live stream right afterwards just to digest the thing, so make sure to keep an eye out for that and to join me when the time comes. So, it's time to get hyped because the build-up of this gigantic fight starts this week. It's the very beginning of a crazy ride we're all about to go on.